G'day guys, we are back out on course again today and today I'm actually playing a course I've never played before and it's a bit of an impromptu kind of round so uh, just like every good YouTube golfer, no warm up, just straight in the car park, straight on the course in a buggy and uh, we're heading to the first hole of Palmer Colonial Golf Course on the Gold Coast so I have absolutely no idea what this course looks like or uh, how it plays so it's going to be real fun, let's uh, get to the first tee. That's not a bad start from what I can see. Um, it's up there on the right, right edge of the fairway, maybe just slightly in the rough, I'm not sure. So we'll go and find out how far down we are and what we got left. I'm thinking we've got probably about 140 left to the pin. All right guys, got the wrong club. It's uh, 150 to the middle. And I really need a seven, 138 to the front. So I'm gonna have to boost an eight. Can't tell if we're just short or just on the front. All right, guys, we're just on the fringe, actually, right back over there. So we've got a long, long birdie look. All right, we're in for par. All so we're in for par and a great second putt there. Um, the grass is really, really wet, so it means a couple of things. The ball's not going to travel as fast, so we're going to have to club up a little bit. And I think even my drive, I didn't hit it that badly, but it only went like 230, which is extremely short. Um, and that's how wet it is. So you can see, we're basically wading through water, but we're out here and we're able to play golf, so no complaints there. Okay, we're into the wind a little bit, so... I don't want to uh, leave myself too far where I've got to hit two iron, two iron just to get the right layup. So I'm going to go driver. <laughs> Alright, not a great ball there. We were able to hit some woodwork luckily and we've bounced out but it did not go far at all. I'm actually really struggling with my driver at the moment. Uh, which is not normal for me. I've probably only hit that, to be honest, 200 meters. The swing speed's very slow, very down, and it's not going far at all, so uh, we need to work on that. Okay, so we're 280 out at the moment. If I could get it up there somewhere within that 80 to uh, 90 meter range, I'll be happy. So not much to complain about there in terms of the grass. I was on a dry piece of grass, perfect fairway. That was just a really bad swing and a terrible, terrible strike. So let's go to the ball. We're probably gonna be 150 away now, which is nowhere near ideal. Um, and let's just work back into this round. Okay, so we got 132 to the pin. I'm gonna go on eight just with this, this water. I'd, I'd rather just be a little bit past the pin than short. All right, so we're just a touch left, but pretty good. All right, here's what we're looking at. It's gonna go left to right and then straighten up at the end, I reckon. Go, get in, get in. Ooh. Okay, it looks like a dog leg left part four. I'm gonna go up to right. Okay, so we got a center pin. Uh, it's about 130 again, 132. So I'm gonna go on eight iron, knock it down. Be the number. I can't tell if that's really, really good or either way, I struck it okay. And I think we're on. So having those knockdown shots in the bag is actually really, really useful because 
what happens in a day like this where it's wet is I can try and boost the nine, which is normally 130 anyway, but I know that with the grass and how wet it is, it's just not gonna carry that far. Same with the humidity in the air, um, you know, it's, or the density in the air, sorry, it's really gonna make that ball go shorter. So a knockdown eight is a great shot to have. Uh, and if you haven't practiced knockdown shots or learnt them, it will definitely help improve your score, so. Okay, so there's a the ball. We rolled on quite a little bit more. That's actually GUR, so they'll be able to go to the side. And there's a pin, so. It was a good shot, we're on the green, and we've got to look at Bird. Okay, that was a lucky par really in the end, but extremely, extremely slow coming down when I hit that putt. I thought that's going to be perfect and just nothing. All right, this is a great looking hole, 160 to the pin. Let's see how we fit. It's on the bottom of the green, that's not not a fantastic shot. So we got a birdie look, but it's just a massive putt uphill. A lot of different grass on the way up here as well. Grain's going this way. I'm gonna have to hit this hard. <laughs> not too bad from there, but not ideal. Hoping this is going to slide right. Yeah, good part. Take a look at this for a hole. This is awesome. Long par four, water up the left, tight on the right, and uh, there's the tee box. off these fairways though that could be halfway in the earth so i wasn't joking when i said it could be halfway in the earth that's how it ended up i'm in the trap so not a greatly struck iron to be honest with you it's always hard to tell because i guess wet fairways kind of highlight some issues that you may be having with your swing, whether you're a little sweet, uh, steep or not. Whereas when they're firm, you don't get that. Um, you know, that came out a little, little, felt like I was not chunky, but steep. And I've ended up in a bunker that doesn't look like it's got any sand. So we're gonna have to get up and down from there. Oh, are you kidding me? I cannot believe I did not press record on that bunker shot. I just looked back, the guys are waiting behind me down there. So I couldn't even play it again, but I played an awesome bunker shot basically to about a foot and I even said boasting about the shot I said the only way to putt out a bunker shot like this is with a wedge tapped it in with the wedge and then only to see that the camera wasn't rolling so I'm so sorry uh, that kind of slucked slucked it slucked wasn't impressed by that one okay so 333 par 4 I definitely checked that I pushed the record button four times and uh, get it. Sit down. All right. Let's just get straight at it. Right. That is so bad. Okay, that was pretty poor as well. So two bad chips in a row here. All right, we need this. It's long, but we need it. These greens. Bogey. Okay, so there's a pin up there somewhere. Here's the tee boxes. We got 141 apparently, so Going eight iron middle of the green.
Struck that so well. That went nowhere. I am literally 25 meters short. Okay, so I did hit a second ball, which is there. Different type of ball, and I hit it about the same. There's about a 15 meter difference, probably more, between them. I have the mother of all putts coming up this hill. It is massive. Alrighty, so I'm going to about to pull back on a talking for the back nine. We've got eight and nine to go, but just want to conserve the battery here. Uh, just wanted to make a point, firstly though, that with your putting stats, it's important to probably go back over the round yourself and just think about how far you were in proximity to the hole, because if your average proximity to the hole is 10 feet and you have 30 putts or 29 putts, that's actually pretty bad. But if your average proximity to the hole like I am at the moment, which is about 30 meters, uh, and you're having 32 putts, well, that's probably pretty good. So don't be too hard on yourself with that. We got a eighth hole here. I think it might be a par five. Yep, par five. So let's see how we go. Oh, right, guys. Par five, driver straight down the middle. Going to do a bit of a ball test as well. So Pro V1 versus the Aurora Trust Ball. Let's see the difference in distance. Let's go the Aurora first. Long way from home, so we'll try an eight iron out of here. Lay up. Alright, should be perfect. Okay, so we're saying 119. Probably go about 125, so I'm just going to hit a nine. It's a bad miss, not hitting it that well today. All right, let's get up and down. Mm, maybe a little bit. Pa. So guys, we're scrambling a bit here on this front line. Beautiful looking course, it is wet, but still nice. And uh, I've got to say, we're scrambling well. We're uh, not sort of hitting the ball all that well. We're missing some greens from, you know, 120, 125, which is not good. Um, but realistically, we're playing well. And um, sometimes you don't strike the ball the way that you want to strike it, but you've got to be able to get up and down. And that's what we're doing at the moment, which I'm happy with. So ninth hole coming up. This is a 400 meter par four, which is pretty long. I'm assuming that it dog legs right. So I'm going to try and go over these trees. Okay, I knew it was going to be an ask. We were on the front, but just off to the right a little, so. That absolutely rocketed out of the front. So much. That's going to leave a hard putt back. I thought I hit that perfect. It just did not drop. The grain's going that way. All right, guys, let's go. Two over through nine. Let's have a strong back nine. Let's smash it. Guessing that one was a dog leg right, so this has got to be a dog leg left. Straight over that little tree on the left. Just inside that bunker line.
All right, guys, so two over through nine. It's time to get at it. We've warmed up, we've played nine holes. And, uh, you know, let's see if we can get back to even here. We need a couple of birdies. We haven't really given ourselves very good looks. Uh, still getting sort of used to the conditions, but we've played nine holes now, so we should have that on lock. I've hit a great drive down there, middle of the fairway. Don't know how far I'll be out, but um, yeah, I'm in a great spot. I can see it now. Uh, it's a front flag, so it should be green light pin. Let's uh, just attack it and see how close we can get. All right, we are just on. Okay, I thought we we're just on. We're actually on the tiniest edge of the fringe, so I can't tell you how long this feels like this is playing today. I mean, how do you hit a 9-iron from 110 metres? And I hit that pretty good. Um, anyway, we do have a birdie look, but we got a, uh, a putt off the fringe. I'll put the camera over here. Okay, guys, we're making pass, but I've got to be honest with you, it's getting a little frustrating with not hitting the greens from those kind of distances. Um, should be, you know, probably a few under by now, but playing well, just the distance is really sort of throwing me off at the moment. So we're going to need to look at that. Um, we're going to the 11th, so we've got plenty of time, sorry, the 10th. So we've got plenty of time to, I uh, know, oh the 11th. So we've got plenty of time to correct it. Okay, so long par five here. Get at it. It's not a shot that I've played before, so let's hope it goes okay. Three wood out of a bunker. Preferred lies in bunkers still, so. We got the wind and we're not that far away, so I'm gonna have to take some off. Grip down. turned it over so I've turned it over but definitely gotten lucky I must have hit these trees here and then popped out here greens just there so got a uh, feeling this is gonna be a 58 shot yeah it definitely is not too bad a little bit long yeah, I'd probably say this is the first real genuine look at birdie that we've actually had. All right, pit me there again on the speed. Downhill, down grain. Still ran a little slower than I expected, but we've got to be better than that, really. Like, you've got to be able to hold those ones. When we're not getting many good birdie looks today, uh, the ones you do get, especially on par fives, you need to take advantage of. So, missed out on one there, um, but we got to forget about it. Move to the next hole and see where our next bird is coming from. All right, so it's 190 metre par three. And we're into the wind and the ball's not travelling. So I'm literally... i got a two iron and I'm thinking I might even need a three wood, to be honest. As silly as that sounds. Let's go two iron. And uh, get it up there. Aim at that tree at the back. Big gum tree. <laughs> Made the front middle of the green. And I smashed it. <laughs> I actually didn't realise how good this shot was, to be honest, from back there. I thought it was much further down here, but I've got about 14 feet for par. Oh, sorry, for birdie. The massive slinger. Get in, get in. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought that was in. Ah, oh, good effort. That was a tricky part. 
So another tight par four. I'm just going to try and stick it to the left side, close to the cart path. See where that takes us. I actually lost it. I don't know if we're in the bunk or just over. Okay, so the green is over there. And I have this overhanging tree branch. So I've either got an eight iron. You may hit it. I'll try and... And then I'm going to knock down a seven. Just gone from hitting what I thought was probably the bunker shot of my life. Landed dead center in the green. It just rolled on a little. I hope there's no water over the back. Looks like there might be a bunker. I, I don't know. Hopefully it stayed up though. Okay, so actually all is good. I've just seen it. I've just hit the bunker shot of my life. Take a look at this. Boom. From that bunker, knock down seven, draw. It just went over that little ridge there and then I lost it. I thought I didn't know what was behind here, but... What a shot. Another genuine birdie opportunity. Yes. That's all it was. Just needed to take the flag out. More room in the hole when the flag's out. And I don't know what other people think. Comment below. But I always do generally putt better when the flag is out. Maybe it's a head thing, but I just do. Good birdie. We might be in the bunkers again. So just dragging the tee shots a little left at the moment. Maybe I need to, uh, I'm not putting everything into it. And sometimes when I try and dial it back, that can happen. I come across myself and sort of double cross it. But hopefully I didn't hit it that well that I'm in the bunker or I hit it well enough that I'm over it. Um, I am sort of pulling it left because I'm, the water seems to be on the right. So, you know, that's something I'm trying to stay away from probably. Um, but. Either way, bunker, no bunker, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's not that bad. The bunkers don't have much sand in them, so they're pretty easy to hit out of. All right, so I've got 85 meters here. 50 degree, just gonna play a full swing. Get it up there. If it goes 90, 95, that's good. That did not. That went about 65. Okay, so not much green to work with, but it does look pretty quick, so I'm going to go 54 and try and land it just a touch short, let it run on. And then I bladed it. Turn. Ah, oh, no turn. Bogey. The old birdie to bogey. Oh well, let's get it back. So that's the hole and obviously there's an enticement to go over because it is a long par four if you go around but I do not have the power at the moment to hit over that even into the wind. So I'm going to go just left of this gum here. Um, probably there. Yep, we're safe. Alright, so taking the uh, ambition out of it, we are 112 metres to the pin. Struck that well. So, a great shot in. A really good look for Birdie.
Okay, probably rush that a little bit. You don't want to get birdie looks like that and not get them. That was disappointing. Uh, still two over, so uh, we need to find some more birdies. Okay, about 160 to the pin. Six iron. When you miss a birdie like that, you kind of feel like you've got to get it back. Let's get it back. No! I pulled it and it's gone over the back. I don't know what's over the back. Okay, it's also possible that now that the course is drying out, the ball's actually flying a little bit further. Struck that one pretty well, but from 160 with how short the course has been playing, it should have been fine. I'm just hoping that if it's gone over the back, it hasn't gone too far, uh, or it's somehow hung up there. I don't really know what's over there, but let's see. Okay, walking up, there's my ball. Not too bad. Just a little bit of a bump and run, and uh, let's get it close. Okay, great up and down there. Got fortunate with a tee shot. It didn't go too far over. I thought I honestly hold that. Uh, I was going to be so excited. We've, you know what? We've. On this back nine, we're even past so far, but we have played some really good golf. Missed some opportunities. Um, could have been so far a lot better, but you know we still got some holes to go. All right, par five here, 17th. Here's our chance. We have 500 meters, basically. Let's get it. I'm in the bunker again. So I think I've successfully found every fairway bunker on this course, at least on the par fives. I haven't really given myself much of a chance, to be honest with you. Wow, these trees are supposed to be a turning path, and they have to back it up, back it up, back it up. All right, it's like when you're going for a par five in two, but there's water, you got to back it up. Okay, so we are well over 300 meters away, which is a long way. Try this three wood out of the bunker thing again. Oh no! I've cold topped it. All right, so we're still 240 meters away, believe it or not. We are a mile away. Let's try and play a three wood stinger. Just to roll it anywhere near the green. Ah! I, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I, I don't know how to react to that. It's the longest par five I've played in a long time. Probably 530, 540 meters. And... I'm nowhere after three shots. See the ball. Oh, that's a cracker. We might have just saved par, believe it or not. We might have done it. Three bad shots, one good shot can still make par. 18th hole, last one, let's bomb one down there. I feel like every hole has been into the wind off the tee. But, bomb one down, straight at that gum at the back. So that'll be short and very spinny, but we're in the fairway. Okay, so 120 meters into the wind. Just gonna hit a nine. Good, about 15 feet, a little thin, but it's good. It's on. Yeah. 
All right, guys, well, there you have it. Uh, ended up two over par, so not terrible. Um, but as I do every time and look at it objectively, I think, okay, well, why didn't I shoot under par this round? And the reason that I can come back with is that I just didn't get my approach shots close enough. Um, sure, I had a couple more birdie putts, which if I had a sunk them, that would have put me under par. But realistically, they were the only looks that I had, and you are going to miss some. Um, so it's not really the putting. Um, I just think the approaches and the iron play wasn't good enough today. Um, and it really didn't give me good enough looks, you know. I'm sort of averaging probably 25 to 30 feet. Uh, and in some cases more from the pin, especially on those par threes. Uh, the front nine kind of caught me out a little bit with the distances on how long it was playing. Uh, you know, for example, I hit your six iron into that par three that was only 157 and I was 25 meters short with a massive putt on the green, lucky to get par. Uh, and then I hit a six iron in another hole on the back nine a bit later, 161 meters and I was sort of over the back. So as the day went on, your distances got further because the sun's out, it's taking that dew and moisture off the ground. Um, but it did catch me out on the front nine. So um, first time I played here though, so pretty happy that I was able to shoot two over the first time I'm here. Um, I feel like the game's moving in a good direction. It just wasn't quite there today. Um, but you know, just more practice and uh, we'll get there. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all those kind of things. And I'll catch you guys soon.